Welcome to another episode of What's in Your Notebook? All right, so here is our notebook. Our lovely unit began with an organized pocket, so you should all have a pocket. Then you should have your word webs and your lists for character and courage. Some classes have their rubric and instructions for the card glued in and some don't and they're in your pocket and that is just fine. Now you should have your cards completed on the outside and inside because those are due today. Now here's where we're starting to get into our research project. We've got our taking flight through the decades unit header. We've got all of our standards. You should have a pre-unit mastery rating level where you have determined on a level of one to four, how well you think you can already do this standard. Now many of these standards you've done already in my class or in English class. At the end of the unit, we will rate our mastery again to see if we have a better understanding since we've had more time to practice. During the unit, we're going to be check marking each time we practice one of these standards. Below, you have a place to organize your thoughts for your research area. As you know, you are each going to be choosing a decade within the 20th century. I've got myself a big chart started up on the board that I will be filling in starting Monday. The groups who are studying a decade can't be bigger than four, but they could be smaller. Within that decade, you are going to pick one of the four areas of social studies. And here they are on the board. You're either going to pick science and technology, economics, civics, or culture. But remember, no two decade members can have the same area. We want your finished product to be nice and balanced. Underneath, you'll see all of the possible topics that can be researched for each one of those areas. In your notebook, you should have these lovely little flip cards that you all labeled and underneath you've written down all of those possible topics so you have this information nice and neat in your notebook. There we go. On this part of the chart you can start filling in today or Monday. You'll indicate the decade that you're choosing here and then you've got the area that you've chosen here and then here are some of the topics that interest you. From there, you need to narrow your topic down to something even more specific. Because these topics on the board alone are way too broad. So, for example, if you are studying the 1960s and you are in the civics area and you are interested in learning more about civil rights, your specific narrowed down topic could be something like the assassination of Martin Luther King. It could be the integration of the Little Rock Nine, which could have been the 1950s. I'm really not sure. That's something you'll need to find out. But this area, this topic alone is too big. We've got to zoom into something more specific. The same goes for any of these other topics. Now, the next pages in your notebook indicate the kind of information that you're expected to gather while you're doing your research. You are going to have to identify three different what's within your decade and area. A what could be something like an invention, a development, maybe an event, something happened, but it needs to be selected from your area. It could be three different topics as long as it's specific, something that you can identify who is involved, when it happened, where it happened, and so on. You'll need to tell me why was this event so important? What impact did it have on our country? Now that information is going to take some thinking. You're probably going to have to look at more than one source, read about the results of this invention or this development or this event, read about how people reacted to it, read about any changes that might have occurred because of it, and that's going to help you determine why it was so important and what impact it had. These pages also indicate when this information needs to be completed. February 12th for the first 
and the second what. Remember, the what's need to be two different what's, but they can be the, they need to be the same area. The third what needs to be collected by February 15th. Down below, you see how your points are going to be distributed. And there's a reminder to record the sources you use on your easybib.com account that you created in Station. And this is also a place to remind you that I want you to use more than one kind of source to collect your information so you can be a good balanced researcher. Part of my job this weekend is going to be to dig through that world wide web and find all of the websites that I think have good solid information that is going to be relevant to your, your studies and I'm going to put them all into a document for you to go through so that you don't have to spend all of your computer time digging for internet sites. I'll do the digging for you. All you have to do is sort through them to decide which ones are going to work best for your study. When all of this is completed in the next few weeks, then you're going to get together with the other members in your decade and you are going to put all of your information together in a multimedia project. That's going to be so much fun. Next week in station, you and your decade group members are going to look through a list of possible options that you have for putting all of your information together. And I want us to use computers. This is the 2010, so we need to make sure that we are caught up with this technology world. So you're going to have lots of cool options there and you'll get some time on the computers to put together your presentation as well. If you have any questions about what a good what could be or if the what you've picked is narrowed enough, please ask me. That is why I'm here. I want to make sure that you're not spinning your wheels on a huge what trying to gather this information when there is just way too much to be gathered. So please check with me to make sure that you are on the right track. If you have any other questions about your research project or what's going on, please don't hesitate to ask me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's in Your Notebook. <laughs>